Yeah. Speaking of chess, they need to add more chess to the game. Bro, how about they're not doing that? I'll tell you why. Yeah, I don't know if you know why. It, it, that, that has to, that involves like a whole, um, it's like the gambling law. And yeah. so that, when that became like a real, they cracked down on it across games. Like that was it. The biggest game to do like the whole gambling thing that became really a mainstream new. game was Rocket League. Rocket League was like the biggest game to have like keys, you got a chest. And then, so then the counter for that was you were gonna get blueprints. Um, you no longer get chests and you don't, you, you just have blueprints. It turned keys into credits. So keys are worth an X amount of credit. Like credits are worth a certain amount, like one key or whatever. They gave you blueprints that you can open no matter what, you don't need anything. But, and so it reveals the item, but you don't get it unless you spend credits on it. And depending on what you get, then it costs an X amount of credits. And in that whole scenario of things, there's only a few things in that bracket that became like really worth it. If you all of a sudden like blueprinted black market item from there, and then it was worth spending the credits. But some of them, the cre it became so expensive to buy that thing. It was cheaper to technically trade that with someone else that had bought it in the past somehow or whatever, or bought it in between, or just unlocked it and then don't want it. Kind of that thing. Nothing really holds that much value, even though there is, it used to just be, there was a chest and that was it. You spent keys and it was like, yo, but the gambling law said like, how do I know what the percentage chance is? And so then they came out with a whole thing of like, here's the percentage chances of getting like each of the items. And then that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough for anti, regulations it was like nope like that's you're, people are still gambling hard to earn money for this stuff and so it was like okay then the other rule was like we'll tell you the percentage chance we'll tell you what's in the damn chest and then it's like it wasn't enough it's like all right then change the damn thing into blueprints and then it's just like it has to be spent by whatever amount and then that's that's what how they created a system i don't know how that's necessarily going because they created a whole separate store that sells different things that you then can't trade but that's how they did it. So this kit came in the same value and there are a couple of games that really try to do the maximizing your free to play game. So it's like, oh, let's do this whole like, you roll on the chess kind of thing. But it's, it's too much of a gambling thing. So that's why like the last chest actually took so long to come out. I don't know if you guys know that, that dragon chest or whatever, I forget what it's actually called, uh, which had the best skins to me in any of the chests. And I have them all. Um, it was, it, it, they said it was gonna come out. This was like in 2019. And then it took too long. It took like weeks and weeks and weeks to actually come out um, after that. And then at some point they stopped mentioning that it was gonna come out. And then it just like came out within like the next like two or three weeks. And that's cause I think they were really being stopped to do it. So that's why the chess happened really fast in terms of rotation, like, there's a huge, there's a fast rotation because you don't want to, they didn't want to make it feel like, oh, people are pressed to get this item now that became a part of it. And then, you know, what the, what the chances are, they didn't, you know, they, they didn't, since they weren't going to make a thing of disclosing it, they just had to basically stop the chess. It's too much of a gambling thing. They made the battle pass now. So that just basically works itself out. And that's not to say that they can't bring it back. They should do what Rocket League did. Like they should just make a chest. They should make chess. So what happens is you get maybe a unique item while playing the game and it, it, it comes up every so often. So you play a certain amount or whatever. And just like an item that you would get in Rocket League, you get some mysterious like key thing and it's called something um, sort of like crest or something. And you it's it's gained like credits. Then there's a there's the, the chest involved. So then what happens is. Is that you can open the chest right and there's all the items and the items don't happen in duplicates um but the difference is is that now you can roll you basically see what you unlock and what it is is if you don't want to actually get the item it'll just put it as a number i thought of this before by the way so this isn't like a random occurrence. like thought i actually thought of this thing I was like, it puts it as a number. So then you could roll, you can, you can basically try to open the chest again. And then it's like, it'll tell you the next item that you would get and you can get that item, but you would have to get the first item first to get the, then you could get the second item. So basically 
if there's 12 if there's 12 items in the chest you basically can just roll on the chest or whatever and um if you don't if you don't actually accept any of the items it'll tell you each each item you got by the number you're gonna get by the number so it could be like the fourth item is one of the exclusive skins and it's like damn i have to actually unlock all four items to get the exclusive skin that might be worth it to some people and be like okay you know what i like the skin order i'm gonna get these skins to get this exclusive item some people might be lucky and be like oh i'm just gonna roll the chest and see and it's like the first two skins you get is the exclusive ones or the first one you get is the exclusive one you're like done i'm getting the skin and then you're like okay i'm gonna keep trying the chest and then you get three items in which they're not exclusive and you don't like the skins. You're like, you know what? Okay, I'm not going to spend the money on this. Um, and so you don't have to. So the way you think about it, because people then would be like, okay, well, then that, that would be it. Like people wouldn't, people wouldn't get the chests anymore. Just uh, nah, I don't think they should add any more chests. See, so personally, I don't care anymore either. I just know when they did chests before the battle pass came out that was the best skins in the game and not because they were exclusive they just were the best skins in the game technically not all of them but some of them were that still kind of holds true for some of them it's still better than some of the battle pass skins, but the battle pass does a decent job of the rest of the stuff that's how i feel about the chests